it's about time that we um, look more into the wave window of AppSynth because we've done a lot of stuff and we've seen something, uh, some things with the granular stuff but we never have looked into the wave window so let's try to make a sound with a wave that we uh, made ourselves so I'm gonna choose new here and then we get a new wave which is the sine wave and it looks like a sine wave and I can load up this oscilloscope so you see that it's really a sine wave and in the spectrum mode this has one harmonic and that is the that's kind of the rule for making a, a sine wave it only has one harmonic and as soon as you're gonna add stuff it's it's not a sine wave anymore so a harmonic is a, a integer number that you can multiply with the fundamental frequency of the of the sound so now we just have the fundamental frequency and when we're adding harmonics um, we add more frequencies that are uh, doubles or triples or any number that is uh, an, an integer multiple of the harmonic frequency and you can see now that the waveform changes when I'm adding harmonics and in this window the um, everything above this line is just the amplitude of the harmonics so here we draw the harmonics and at the bottom we see harmonic 5 harmonic 3 and we can see uh, db so that's the volume and the higher the harmonic is uh, just this is just the, the higher the volume is and at the bottom here we set the phase of the harmonic and if we go back to our normal sine wave with one harmonic we can see that let's freeze this now the sine wave looks like this and where there's a where there's a, a peak now if we start to invert the phase then it's the other way around so I, I, I can't really show you that because it's going too quick maybe if I So that's what that's doing and the cool thing in absent is that in spectrum mode everything that you do you can immediately see um, what that what that does to the wave so for example now we have our sine wave here and if I start to draw in more harmonics you can see that the wave starts to change like that and the other way around so for example, if I draw a sort of a saw here, we can see that in the spectrum page we um, also see those changes. So that is uh, one thing I wanted to mention and this is pretty cool because this allows you to learn more about waves and waveforms because you can draw something and then immediately see how much uh, harmonics, for example, that has. So if I draw a square wave, you can see here it's a square wave, and we look at the spectrum page, we see that the uh, square wave has a perfect square wave, this is not a perfect square wave, we can see that immediately because we got these harmonics here, while a normally perfect square wave would have only odd harmonics, so those are the third and the fifth and stuff like that, so if we select this we can see this is the third this is the fifth, this is the seventh, the ninth. So um, all the odd harmonics are there, and these ones, if I if I wanted to draw a perfect square wave, I have to remove all the even number harmonics. So two, four, six, eight, etc. And maybe we can go to the patch and load up uh, just a factory square wave let's see square real let's see what that oh let's see what that looks like yeah there you can see that there are no even harmonics just the odd harmonics and it's a perfect square and once i start to edit this just a tiny little bit like this you will see that now there are odd uh, even harmonics as well 
so let's go back to the perfect square for now okay uh, new oh darn is this gonna be perfect yeah all right um let's reset this facing for now and then there's some other cool stuff that you can do here for example um, you can reverse it but you can also fractalize it and this adds overtones and it's gonna add a lot more harmonics so there are a lot more options here but um, I just want to look at a few useful options for now for example the filter and we can insert a low pass, a high pass or a band pass filter and that is just on the wave so say you've drawn a wave or, or there is a factory wave that you like but it's a little bit too bright so that's a little bit too bright then we can go to the filter and make it a little bit duller and we also have resonance which is, which is really cool So you can see that we can easily make a pretty complicated waves with this and um, use them in our patches. So for example, if I want to use this one, I'm gonna... I mean, that's a cool waveform. So, and then, and then you can save the waveform as well. So here you can go save wave template and um, you can use your own waves the next time. I think I might just do that with this one. So that is a short introduction of the of the wave window and um, the spectrum window. And now you kind of know a little bit how it works. And next time we'll uh, look at some of the options here and um, and I'll explain what all this does. So um, practice a little bit with this and try to make your own waves. It's really cool actually, and you get a lot of it. it it seems like a lot of work to do or it's unnecessary but you get creative results and, and therefore creative sound so I think it's um, it's what you want to do when you when you want to take your sound design to the next level so have fun with that and um, see you next week